all right what's going on guys and welcome back to another 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 reaction full metal alchemist brotherhood gonna do four more episodes right now just finished doing four and things are getting heated man king bradley is back envy is dead mustang almost went ape shit a lot of things going on but i'm digging it you know what i mean i'm digging it i'm definitely seeing that this is coming to a close but it's still so hype and there's still so much to wrap up the final battle is on owenheim versus father so many things to wrap up here you know um my baby's general armstrong you know what i'm saying gotta give her a shout out always <laughs> anyways guys let's jump into the reaction and i will see you guys for the review All right, so let's talk about it, man. Full Al Metal Alchemist Brotherhood episodes 57 through 60. Very, very, very good thing that they're doing to wrap things up. Um, sometimes I really don't know what to say about this anime, to be honest. And that's a good thing. Because you find yourself speechless trying to respond to what they're doing the animation has definitely cranked up a bit um it definitely cranked up to the point where you know what i'm saying you can see clearly that they wanted to go for a more clearer dynamic fluid animation for the fight scenes and we're getting a lot of those in the past like you know these four episodes that we watched and a lot of fights we've seen um fewer versus scar we've seen them um you know more of you know uh father um he ab he absorbed owenheim they had to wait on the the sacrifice the the five sacrifices to be there owenheim being one of them you know we already know so now we understand why they wanted edward and alphonse is because they've opened the gate so is anybody that has opened the gate in the past that have seen what the portal is, those are the people who are the sacrifice. They forced Mustang to do it. You know, they forced him to do it. And I don't know what they, I, I kind of don't understand what they were going for in in certain aspects there, what, what they were going for. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, I didn't quite understand how they forced him into it with it seems like they use the doctor with the gold tooth i think i think they use them as a sacrifice as the equivalent exchange to force um mustang but i didn't quite understand what was going on there maybe if i go back and watch the scene can understand maybe one of you guys can explain it to me um it's not that i'm dumb or anything because i know i'm not it's just maybe I need to go back and watch the scene to kind of understand what happened, how they end up forcing him. I like to understand every little tidbit, especially when it comes on to shows or series um, like this, because if you don't understand what's going on, you could get lost. You know what I'm saying? And you already know I'm not I'm not watching this anime because of fights and fight scenes and, you know, and I'm getting excited over fights or whatever. It's not just that it is fun, but it's also an incredible story. So I do want to want to want to point that out. I do want to see and understand everything, um, you know, because we're boiling down. We got four more episodes to go and we're boiling down to that, you know, to that point where now you want to understand how they're going to get to the end, what is going to happen at the end. So Alphonse decided to leave his real body behind to go out because he's like, I'm no help in this scrawny ass body if i go back so i have to go back as the suit of armor so that you know what i'm saying i can at least help because it's a it's a body that can feel 
and I don't need to eat. I'm all, I always got energy. If I go back with this scrawny body, I'm no help to anyone. So it was a right choice, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You have no guarantee if you're gonna get back there to get your real body, you know? So it was a tough choice nonetheless, but I understand what he would, what he was doing and why he did what he did, right? So some epic things, man, some epic sayings, some stuff that they, they, you know, that they talk about King Bradley, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of stuff that's being said in this anime that's really got to be like, hmm, that sounded right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that sounded very correct. I can't, there's no rebuttal, whether it's coming out of a good guy mouth or a bad guy mouth. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. It's the, it's the pain situation from from Naruto is just like, man, I feel you on that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you spitting straight facts right now. I can't even say, you know, you, you know what I mean? Like I can't say nothing. I can't, and that's the reason why in that moment, Naruto couldn't even answer him because he knows dude is telling the truth. You can't, what are you going to do? You can't do nothing. You just got to accept um, what it is. Not to say he was going about it the right way but <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's just that facts are facts and you can't fight facts facts is just facts right so um so uh man we we lost uh buccaneer um and the old man you know what i'm saying the old man um i think it's lanfon right lanfon's grandfather he died if you are killed a lot of people man Dude, he killed a lot of people, bro. And he, he don't give a damn. He's hurt right now going up against Scar. That was a good reveal for them to reveal that he also has alchemy in another arm. I don't know why he's never used it before, but he's come to accept it, as he said. Because that was very surprising because I was like, how is he? how did he use his left hand of alchemy when all this time we thought he can only do it with his right arm? So that was pretty cool because that was never explained before or anything like that because i think his brother must have lost both his arms i think or he gave him both his arm or i don't remember exactly how it went i don't remember exactly how it went down but i think scar had lost his arms or something i think i'm not a hundred percent sure because i don't remember i don't remember because it was a very short flashback scene that we had when we saw I don't even think they outright showed it either. So I don't remember. You guys can tell me. Maybe I'll go back and watch that episode when they showed. Because they did show a small flashback of what happened. But not fully if I remember correctly. But it's definitely pretty cool man. To see them go this far in this anime to explain certain things. You know what I'm saying? And which they, do, they don't necessarily have to. So I really do um, respect that. I respect the fact that they went the length to, exp you know, to kind of explain certain things of what's going on and what father is doing. You know what I'm saying? I like when he went around and talked about all the sacrifices and what they've done and how ironic the whole situation is, right? Of what they lose when they go through the portal or perform human trans strength transmutation, right? I like the fact that he went through all of that with, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's kind of sad that Mustang had nothing to do with this. He didn't do it. it was forced into this and he still lost his eyesight. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think in my opinion, as I said before, like, I don't think it's going to be a quote unquote happy ending for this anime. I think it's more of like, I think this anime is more of like grounded in, you know, a theme of acceptance of just accepting that these, that thing, that shit happens, people die. And I think that's what the struggle is. This entire anime is that people just can't accept that people die. You get what I'm saying? It's like, it's one, you know, it's either you're taking up revenge or you're trying to bring them back with alchemy. You know what I'm saying? And the people who have come to accept certain things in dire, dire situations are the ones that always pull through, pull through, right? So I think the theme around this entire anime so far, and I'm going to be talking about it in depth more in 
the um in my review of the series i'm gonna be talking about acceptance more than anything else because i think that's where the the theme of this anime is and just doing things out of love you know what i'm saying and what love can kind of force you or or bring you to do because of love for a, a, a person you know what i'm saying and love for a thing because we're seeing may coming back still after the philosopher's stone after all this time i understand you need i mean all this stuff that is going on around it she's heard the stories and she still wants immortality it it irks me that she's still on that and that's why i'm saying she must be portrayed as a child because after all of this after all she saw with envy betraying her and leading her astray she is still half to the philosopher's stone even though she knows even though she i mean you, you get what i'm saying so you see where things can lead you because you just the love of of a thing or the love of a person can drive you to do things that otherwise just seem kind of nutty to some people or just crazy you know so that that was amazing it's an amazing thing that you're doing with this anime, man. I appreciate you guys. It's all I have to say right now. Leave a like on the video. Leave a comment on the video. I appreciate it. You guys have not been commenting lately about anything about Full Metal Alchemist. I, I don't think I have. Let me let, let me let me see here. Let me see here. Cause y'all think I'm y'all think I'm joking when I say you guys are not commenting or I'm trying to beg you guys or whatever. The last episode we had. We had 12 comments on it 12 comments and i'm pretty sure probably i'm probably uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of those were my were mine me responding to you guys right so let's see here right see yeah i've responded to pretty much all the comments except one right so yeah because we had a conversation i have out of that 12, I have one, two, three, four. Four of those comments are mine, right? So, and the rest is me having a conversation with one person. So, three people, three people, right? Three people. Let, let's see here, right? Literally, well, four people, I should say. Four people commented on this video for people on my last upload right and i'm not saying this for you guys to you know what i'm saying like feel bad or anything like that i'm just letting you guys know that you guys are not commenting you're watching the videos and, and i really don't know how you guys feel about my reactions and that just goes to the people who are not commenting you know what i mean last upload again last upload right my last full metal alchemist upload not the one not 53 to 56 i'm talking about the last upload i did 51 and 52 that's what i'm talking about episode 51 and 52 right 131 views right now um 15 likes one dislike there's somebody going around disliking my videos i don't pay attention to it regardless you know i just want you guys to understand right i just want you guys to understand that it helps you know it brings in more views when people when 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 you guys interact with the videos and you leave comments leave tons of comments you know what i'm saying that that's the kind of stuff that gets videos into trending and stuff like that you know what i'm saying i don't, I don't necessarily want my videos to trend i'm just letting you guys know that that's a it's not a big part of the algorithm but it's a part of the algorithm you get what i'm saying so i do it does measure engagement and stuff like that so i do appreciate you guys nonetheless you know for you know for for watching the video so appreciate you guys i'll catch you guys later peace